Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a full face of Glossier products. I have been wanting to try out Glossier for such a long time, but they recently just started shipping to Canada. Ooh, ooh. So um, I bought a bunch of the stuff so that I could try it on camera. Um, this is the look I came up with, just a really dewy, fresh look, which I think is what their brand is all about. So yeah, if you guys want to see how I got this look and my thoughts on Glossier, then please keep on watching. Okay, so I've already prepped my skin with the Glossier Super Bounce Serum. Now, this is a hyaluronic acid serum. It also has vitamin B5 in it for you. I actually really, really like this serum, and it's at such a good price point. Usually, hyaluronic serums in Sephora are range from $50 and up. Um, and this one, I'll list the price somewhere in the screen, but it's a lot cheaper. And hyaluronic acid is very, very good for your skin, whether you're dry, combination, oily, because it's going to help, help attract water and moisture from the air and bring it to your skin. And I also like prepping with this, and this is what I have on my face already. So I'm going to use the Smashbox Primerizer. This is similar to their Priming Moisturizer in that it moisturizes your skin as well. It literally feels like you're putting on a really lightweight moisturizer. Next up, we have the Skin Tint. I have, my, I have mine in the color Dark. Now, this product is literally what it says. It is a tint. If you're looking for coverage, this is, do not go for this because it doesn't claim to be a foundation and on their website it says don't expect it to cover your sunspots, um, freckles, it's just supposed to give you a bit of a glow, a little bit of color and kind of even out your skin tone. But if you're looking for coverage, um, this is not your guy. So I shook it up. It's very, very thin and watery, so make sure you shake it up before you use it. And what I'm going to do is, since it is so watery, I just like to kind of, if I could get some out. Come on. And this may be looking a little bit dark, but it's literally so thin that even if you get your wrong color, it's not a big deal. So you don't really need a beauty blender or like a brush with this since it is just like a tint you can kind of apply it like you would apply a moisturizer. Okay you guys so here is the skin tint on. It just gives you a little bit of a glow, a little color and evens out your skin tone in a slight way but that's all the coverage you're going to get out of it. If you're a full coverage type of girl, stay far away. Stay far, far away. Okay, next up we have the Glossier Stretch Concealer. I have the color medium. They do not have a lot of colors in their, sh um, in their line. The skin tint, I think, comes in four colors. But this is what the concealer looks like. It's in jar packaging like this. Um, I'm just going to take it with my fingers and start to tap it in. Now this concealer on the website, they say that it, it is buildable and it's supposed to help you cover dark circles and be able to put over blemishes and stuff like that. But the thing I'm iffy about is that this is not a matte concealer. It's not going to give you that matte look under your eyes. It's actually pretty dewy. So the idea of putting a dewy concealer on top of a blemish, that's, that's, just, that's just not a good idea. So I would probably strictly use this under my eyes maybe to brighten the face but 
I definitely don't think I would use this to cover blemishes. You can see it's blending really nicely. It's definitely not full coverage. The darkness is definitely peeping through, making an appearance. But they did say it's buildable, so I guess we can try. It is building pretty nicely. It's not like caking up anywhere or gathering around itself. That's how it looks when it's a little bit more built up. So I'm actually really liking the finish of the foundation and concealer. It's giving me a really dewy finish, but um, it's not collecting anywhere. It's not really collecting in fine lines or wrinkles or dry spots. And the concealer actually covers pretty nicely. Um, I think I could build it up to a full, but I'm okay with how it looks right now. And yeah, so far, I think these products are really pretty. So I'm probably the most excited about this next product. It's the Halo Scope Highlighter. And I got the color Quartz. So this is like a really beautiful white goldish color. Um, it even looks like it has a little bit of pink in it actually. It's really pretty and the thing I like about it the most is because it looks like an actual gloss um, on the skin. And it just looks beautiful right when, just like when you turn your head and the light hits your face in the right way. This just looks so pretty. How beautiful is that? Okay, so Glossier doesn't have anything for the eyes. I hope they come out with something soon. But what I'm gonna do today for the eyes is I'm gonna go in with their Generation G lipstick in the color Leo which is just a really beautiful, seriously, there we go. Yeah, so it's a really beautiful brown color. They're very, very sheer, but very matte. I'm just gonna take that and just draw it on to my lid all the way up to the crease. And then I'm going to blend it kind of upwards like this into the crease. Also taking that color from like the tip, take that on my bottom lash line. And then just smudge it out with your finger. Okay, so the next product I am also very, very excited about, it is their Cloud Paints. I think this is the product that made them that they're the most known for. I have the color Dusk. So I've never used this before, but they're supposed to be very, very sheer. Just a soft wash of color, but you can build them up as well. Just kind of dotting it on. You could use a brush or a beauty blender for this step. I'm just going to use my finger just because the warmth of your fingers, there's nothing else like that to really melt a product into your skin. Do you see how that's such a sh soft? Do you see how that's such a soft wash of color? It just looks so natural. Okay, so I was sent this All May One Coat Mega Volume Mascara from Influencer, um, complimentary to try out. So thank you so much, Influencer, for sending me this. Um, so, Opening it up, the wand is hella weird. It widens up at the end, which makes me a little bit nervous because it's, I hate it when wands are too big because then it gets hard to kind of get into, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. But let's try it. Um, I think I'm gonna zoom you guys a little bit closer. So yeah, it's doing a good job at kind of giving, um, me volume it's even giving a little bit of length the only thing is this eye that doesn't curl properly has completely lost the curl because the it, the formula is so watery that it's weighing down the lash to the point where they're becoming completely straight and kind of look like spider lashes on this eye the curl has kept and it looks really good this eye looks a little bit crazy but that's not completely because of the mascara 
that is um, my lashes on that side are just crazy. They're very volumizing, very thickening. This is nice. So I'm also going to use one of the Generation G lipsticks in the color Crush. It's the really pretty raspberry pink, but my lips disappear with everything, so I always have to line them. So I'm going to do a slight, slight lining with this Bite Beauty lip pencil. And this is supposed to give you that just blotted type of look, or the popsicle look, I guess some people say. Also, these are pretty sheer, but you can build them up. So if you want more color, just keep layering and it's going to build up to like the color in the tube. Okay, you guys, so that is my review on Glossier. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe so that I could see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.